Ty, you're muted. <laughs> Great, thanks. I was trying not to pop in and out. Okay, you saw the other disclaimer, which was um, please uh, don't do stuff if you shouldn't. This one is um, be responsible and don't blame anybody else for anything that you try to do because no one's making you do anything. And the next one is stay on mute, maybe turn off your camera to save bandwidth. I encourage you to pin the instructor. So in this case, find Angelo and pin him. Ask questions in chat. They want to have questions. And then turn on closed captions so you can see what's being said. All right, and there's Angelo's slide. So Angelo, thanks for your patience. Appreciate it, brother. And uh, you're on. Cool. Um, can everyone hear me OK? I presume yes. All right. Well, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Angelo Garcia. I, uh, I teach lightning scientific arnis. Um, I'm under Master John Escudero in Tel Aviv. The club I run here is called Lightning Strike Combat, and you can find lightningstrikecombat.com. That's our website. Um, find us on Instagram, Facebook, what have you. Um, today, I'm actually not going to be focusing so much on technical stuff. Um, one, I'm lacking a partner, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I, I imagine most of the people on this call are facing the same challenge, not really having anyone to play with. So those of you who know me or are friends with me on Facebook have been seeing me do a lot of shadow boxing. And so what I want to do today is share some of those ideas. Um, no, I'm not just flailing wildly in the air. There's some method to the madness but I'll get to that in a little bit. So a lot of this is going to be solo drilling, and uh, Bruce brought up an interesting point. How do you transition from technique to sparring? You know, most people quit, and Tappy Tappy is a great avenue for that. Um, but there's a way to do it by yourself as well, that you, you know, where you can transition across those two stovepipes. There seems to be this weird stovepipe across um, that sort of, um, separates those two concepts. So I'm going to be sharing some of that. Um, a bit about my background before I begin. I uh, started training with Master John Escudero in Tel Aviv back in 2008, and I've been like Ty, following him around for the last 12 years, uh, or my teacher for the last 12 years. So um, I've had the opportunity to train with him um, and do you know seminars with him around. Um, Lightning Scientific Arnis is a Espada Daga system, but today we'll be working on Solo Baston. That seems to be um, everyone's proficiency across the board. Might as well. I'm, I'm still uh, getting my Espada Daga game together. Um, but this drill today is not limited to Solo Baston. You can do it. Obviously, shadow boxing is part of boxing, so you can do it with that. Um, but we can work on it using knife as well. And it's really how to transition from the outside space into contact, right? When can you do all the cool and slick moves? Okay. Today I'll be focusing more on Largo because uh, I have the space and weather isn't as bad as this morning. Um, so a couple key things I want to bring up, and I hope everyone's standing up and they've got their weapons out. If you've got a knife, knife is fine. Um, you can practice with that too. If your space is limited, if you got a smaller weapon, you know, if you're playing in your living room right now, you can do that. I've got my deck, so I'm having a good time here. Okay, so key principles. Center line control. I'm controlling this space in front of me. I want to own it, right? So I... My primary weapon is my elastico, or half strike. Boom. It functions like a jack. Boom. Boom. I control that space. That's it. I own it. Okay? We'll start drilling that. You can try it stationary. And I'm controlling that space. I can move back. I can move forward. All right? It's not rocket surgery. It's lightning science. That's established. And I can double pump it, right? I can stay put. I can do all kinds of things with it, right? Next, I have the vertical, all 
All right. This is, I think, across the various systems that you're all doing, you've got this within your repertoire. All right. We're controlling space. Now, it's all about controlling this space here. Being able to bait them in, okay, or deter them from approaching and occupying that space. That's what I'm trying to do. So, in combination, that's what we're doing. We're controlling that outer space. Typically, this is drilled within Bigaitama, which is kind of like a our version of a flow drill, but because we don't have a partner, um, we start sparring. So we start visualizing the space that our, our partners are occupying. Bah, bah. Visualize that space. All right. Now, another weapon you can use, or another tool in your toolkit, is the Akis, the X. All right. I'm trying to refrain from using a nomenclature that's unique to my system, just so you guys can apply it in your own thinking. Okay, that's the X, right? That's a great way to control large swaths of space. It can go high-low, you can go high-high, you can control the entire vertical plane with it, okay? And you can be mobile with it, too. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so now we've got a tool set to work with to control this space. Question, where, when do I start using the techniques I start learning? Well, we drill them in isolation, right? All these cool little techniques, right? But they're often just motions, right? All this stuff. So at what point do we apply it? Well, as you're training solo, you have to visualize when the appropriate response comes in. So this is where ranging matters. Whether you're working largo, medio, or corto. Today, like I said, we're working largo. So I'm just going to work long range attacks. You all have some type of combination you use at a preferred range where you're, you know, where the system excels, or you as a fighter excel at. So I'm not going to keep you from, or rather re restrain the drill solely to that space. So I wanted to see some espadio daga. So yes, you can do espadio daga off of this. That's if you're in the appropriate range. Um, right now, let's work on long range. So. Within the lightning tool set, what are the long range tools? Well, you've actually kind of seen them. You've got the X, you've got the one half strike, uh, sorry, one six, you've got the one half strike six, and you've got the one half strike 13 six from the side. occupy the space and what this drill will do then is to start it'll start developing your threshold so how long can you unload a barrage of strikes on contact so this is more this goes more into the physicality of it okay so working within the confines of the uh, the center line control systems we had in place shadow okay that worked I establish a cue, so go, maybe, right? You can say go to yourself, or in your head, you visualize an incoming attack. Go. Until you get tired, or you, you've done a preset number of repetitions for yourself, right? Let's say, Today, when I'm training solo, I want to do 10 sets of this. Every time I call go, 10 sets of my particular long range technique or my medium range technique. That's what we're doing. Any questions so far? I haven't seen any. 
but uh, you're a little quiet. I think the heater or something kicked on. All right. Hang on. There go. That's actually better. It's better? Okay. I'll try to speak louder. Okay, so once you're tired or you're done with your uh, technique, you need, to, you need to exit, right? So we go back to our center line control. You don't necessarily need to exit in combat. You could close. You could go in, do some cool disarm, right, and, and take them out or what have you. But for the purpose of the drill, we're learning how to stay in the outside. So we're drilling shadow. Right? I'm shadowing. I don't know how much space I've got. Yeah, I've got space. Enter. So I'm here. I'm working on my threshold. Okay, I've done, I don't know how many strikes. Back, out, out, out. I'm outside again. In. Etc., etc. Okay, so that's about 15 minutes into our session. Um, So this would be how you would drill this with the Largo sets. I presume everyone's got their stick. Just to try this out, this could be fun. Stick or a knife. You've got a knife. You can go jab it out. X, come in with a staff. Work on it this way. And then if you've got finishing moves with a knife, enter, thrust, 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 what have you. Not, not the definitive knife guy. So when you do it with a partner, are you banging sticks or yeah, you know, let me see that question. Okay. Oh, when you're doing it with a partner, there's two there's two variants of this. Either I'm actually sparring with a partner, okay, or we have triggers, all right? And we do that off of our uh, our drill called Bigaitama, which means to give strikes. You'll see videos off of it online. I'll type it up real quick. Um, Bigaitama. Um, it's a trigger drill. So when the coach calls go, you execute the technique and your partner will vacate the space so that you can unload. All right. Or they can clack sticks to build up, uh, you know, build up their, their strength threshold to make contact, what have you. Or they can, you, can, you can modify it so that the person who's feeding the strike, who's, who's causing the trigger, can work on their own defense. There, there's a bunch of ways you could go with this. But there, there's... Farther business so the check hand doesn't really fit. Oh, good question. Um, right now, we're in, we're, I'm working long range. But you can do this in medium range or shorter range. I just don't have a partner to show. But let me, let me try to... Let me try to see what I can do. Everyone can visualize this. So I'm working. Boom, boom, boom. I see an incoming knife. Pop, 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 pop. Checking hand is here. One strike. Pop, 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 pop. So I can drill this, right? I'm now in range. This is my medium range. Notice I'm not swinging as big because I'm not in a position or I can bring this up, they'll stop my arm. So you can apply it just to medium range. In fact, let's modify it. I'll bring it into medium range, just for fun. So I'm, I'm shadow boxing. Boom. Boom, 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 right? Vertical comes
comes in. You have your roof block or pylon or what have you. Rather than bringing it over your head to close distance, because you can punch me, right? What I'll do is I'll bring it back here. Then I unload. Uh, 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 or close in. And to disengage, exit out. All right, one more time. So, drilling, drilling. I'm about nine. Close range. Exit. So now I can apply my checking hand if necessary. Strike right, comes in from here. Boom, boom, boom. I can still work. Does that make sense? It's a little challenging to make this interactive when uh, you don't see the audience, but I like to be able to provide more insight uh, this way. Awesome. I hope you can try this out, because it's a lot of fun. Now, you can combine these different sets, right? So you can mix your long range and your medium range stuff. But, you know, it's dependent on your students' competencies and stuff. So, you, you know, isolate it, obviously. You can start applying some of your more advanced techniques this way. In fact, when you have your partner come in, when they feed you the desired strike, you can't exit, boom, 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 and drill it. So you have them hold up a target, what have you. Have them feed that incoming strike, and it goes. So I engage that backhand, shot, shot. Just the thoughts. So, what else did I not cover? Ah, Fondo methods. Just because I like to showcase the system. Stand by. There we go. So, we also have Fondo methods, which are methods that apply to when you can't move. So, when I have to defend a low line. Right? So, I'm shadow boxing. He happens to get in. Ooh. I can drill this motion. This is where I can start drilling my more advanced techniques. Right? And exit, exit, exit. Cover your, cover your exit. So it's that play. And it's a lot of fun to do this on your own. How I've been doing it is I've been using a boxing um, timer. So I'll do nine rounds, one minute rest in between, and I'll call my own go. Another alternative is you can record your cue yourself. So at random times, I'm candidly too lazy to do this. Oh, I'm sweaty. Um, but I'm too lazy to actually sit down and record myself, shout go, and exit. But you can do this as an option you can play with. Um, It'll be similar to those boxing workout tapes. But this is something that I think everyone can apply in their own training as we're quarantining, as it were. Um, let me check time. I'm a little early, but is there anything else that people wanted to see? I could just stand out here and shadow box for the rest of the for the rest of my time too. <laughs> How many methods? In lightning, there are 12. Yep, so yeah, we'll, we'll do this as a QA. and a So there are 12 methods. Um, the order is somewhat arbitrary in, in terms of how they're structured. There's a, how you should think of them instead is long range, 
medium range and Fondo methods, me, me, medium corto range, right? So the Largo methods, I guess I'll showcase some lightning then. This is, uh, th these are the foundations upon which the system is built. But the Largo methods are method one, method, uh, method five, sorry, method seven. Right, no, lo no particular immediate logic to why it was numbered that way. Okay, so that, those are the foundations. Then you have the medium range methods. Spade, Daga, Pus, that's method two. Method three, method 12, two, three, and 12. And then there is the uh, Cadenilia methods, which are, uh, see, it kills me every time, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so method eight is, okay. So that's with the Ocho. There are escalations. There's the Dublada methods, method 11. Um, so there's no major secrets. It's just being able to identify which methods you apply to each situation. So using a drill like this, for example, will allow you to tap into those methods. So you cluster them in terms of range and execute them. Any other questions? If it's easier, you can you guys can take yourself off mute, mute and ask one at a time. What is my favorite method? Okay, so two questions. Uh, one, what is my favorite method? My favorite method, personally, is method is a modified tech. One, six, blada, sure. So I've modified 10 so that I have all these twirly moves for no other reason than it's showing. Um, the other question is why do I tape my sticks? Because uh, we make a lot of contact in lightning and uh, sticks get shredded, so I tape them up it's to preserve the sticks. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, for this type of drill, I recommend lighter sticks because uh, you don't want to blow a radial head. So if you're shadow boxing, especially, because you're going to be going round after round. Um, yeah, it's not ideal. Because you're drilling timing and it's the equivalent of shadow boxing without gloves. You know, you're just getting the, getting the juices flowing. More questions. Angela, do you have any uh, any announcements or anything coming up like in the fall? I know sometimes you bring people or you have an event that you're doing. Okay. Um, so at present, we don't have any events coming up. Um, you know, everything is kind of uh, up in the air, as everyone knows. So we don't have any events coming up. But I do have my website which you can check out, lightningstrikecombat.com. I'll type it up in the chat in a little bit. Um, we'll have events there. You can follow my Facebook page. You can follow, you know, if you're on Facebook, you want to be friends with me, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll accept you. Um, yeah. yeah, definitely be friends with Angelo. He's a good guy. Um, he's a neighbor, actually. I just don't get to see him as much, and especially not now. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're not too far apart, so. All right, any last go-backs before uh, we get set up for Chad 1? Last go-backs, um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I've certainly been using it to keep sane through all this. Um, and it's a good way to really tune up what you're doing. Um, Ty, thanks a lot for, you know, putting this together. 
it's uh, it's amazing how we've been able to uh, get together despite the crisis and everyone's showing up. So, you know, kudos to you for putting this. No, absolutely. This kind of support's great. I think it grows, uh, you know, our, our, our FMA camaraderie. Um, I am recording the whole section, you guys might notice. So what I'll do is uh, I'll split them into sessions and you guys, I can give you your sections if you want. The other thing I'd encourage people is, as, as you listen and try what Angelo was saying, you actually can record yourself and look at yourself. And that's a great way to tune up, tune, tune things up. Oh, yeah. So just as a side note, I, I post them on Facebook, you know, because I'm building a COVID-19 bot, as I'm sure some folks might be guilty of. I, I know I am. And uh, I'm watching myself and thinking, wow, why am I doing that with my elbow? You know, things like that. It, it's a great way to tune up what you're doing absolutely good well thanks again angelo really appreciate you taking the time um this is great thank you very much absolute pleasure take care all right, take care all right i'm going to make sure i'm not on mute for once yay um let me set up things for chad number one and let's see so here's the schedule again